Hello everyone, Attack Power here with Game 2 between these titans of 2v2 play. Let's dive right in. Alrighty folks, if you didn't get enough awesome 2v2 gameplay from last game, here is another for you. Between the same players, Gonzo and Sir Daniel, I believe Sir Daniels, versus Farid and Homie. And this time on the allied side, once again, Gonzo and Sir Daniels. This time on 44 Strelke for Gonzo and 6th Airborne for Sir Daniels on uh, juggernaut and balance respectively and then on the right in the blue on the axis side we have Farid Rommel on group Hartnick playing juggernaut and Homiyun playing 20th panzer on balanced it's here on Tali in Hantala so this is what I kind of wish the 1v1 version was with some more stuff over here I know this is the same ending on this side though it's not expanded any further over here like the 1v1 one should like go right to here and then add this stuff in over here this is far more interesting, like going from here to here. But I digress. Uh, you know, Group Partner going to really struggle with 6th Airborne. Uh, you're not going to get much AA out of that. 20th has some great AA, like some of the best options the Axis have available to them. So, you know, that's definitely good. That should counter 6th well. 44th, kind of a jack of all trades division. We're not going to see anything super heavy out of them, of course. Just the T-3045s. The IS-2 out of uh, 20th may be a tough nut to crack if that Boite Stalin can be used properly. Even the Tigers, honestly, will do quite well in this matchup. See, an ME-410 early, of all things. The, the uh, division with the worst time in the air in this match will be the first one with a plane i find it ironic but if you guys enjoyed this content especially this 2v2 stuff hit that like button subscribe for more steel division 2 content and hit up that patreon for cool perks and to support the channel a whole lot off we go so everyone on slower incomes this time no v for victories no nothing like that this time we see a very early 75 mil howitzer throwing down some smoke here that's a very odd smoke screen see so if I'm not even sure what he would be afraid of. Up north, though, T-3045 in position early. Taking out that Urzat MG. This is the 1943 variant, so it only has 1,750 meter range. A lot of Urzat MGs, but that's it. There's not really any AT up here other than the FK-288, which will struggle to kill this at range. 410 pushed off. We see an early 14, uh, 13, 11 from... Oh, this flag. Yes, the classic one. Still troop in, should beat the Sapity PPSH, although the Oxen Bucks are going to be an issue. Or is that MG kind of an oddly unnecessarily aggressive push there? Double SU-152. This is a classic Gonzo movie. We see this a lot. Right Jaeger is really, really strong. Should be able to wipe out this airborne leader. That's huge. Takes away all that veterancy. But that's a lot of AB Canadian Paris. A lot of troops down south as well. Does look like the... Uh, no, no, Homian's down here with his 20th, so T-34 should, will, uh, do, should do pretty well against the Tetrarchs, I would think. Panzer IV, on the other hand, not so much. BK in position now. There's no AT on these infantry, so they, it should do quite well in this position. Double MG-42 hold, holding down the Vickers. Just a lot of stuff going on here. Up north, right Jaeger's forced off. They're not going to be able to get through these long-range infantry. They're fabulous at closer range. Yeah, amazingly fabulous at mid-range. Uh, not so much at close at uh, long range. Triple Stalls Troop do overwhelm the Boxing Bucks. They don't even get their grenade off. Do see a T-3045 in those SU-152s immediately deleting a Stalls Troop. They're falling back. Uh, T-34 hitting some infantry. Tiger E out in the center here. Needs to kill off that SU-152. That is the key here. Oh, Typhoon in. Cannot finish it off. Tiger will miss the SU-152. Typhoon very strong. Hartnick with no AA yet. It's going to be dangerous. He needs it. So it looks like Hartnick in the middle. No, Hartnick basically... So Hartnick's taking basically the north. And it looks like um, 20th is like split i guess they're splitting the center yeah they're kind of like splitting this and there's the cutoff and it looks like gonzo and sir daniel's kind of splitting with sir daniel's down south being and then gonzo up north with like reinforce and overlap as well in the center the su-152 is going to be super obnoxious the tigers are the only really good answer to them honestly well and the boy to stalin if it comes out to play SU-152 going to delete most of any anything soft, honestly. Ooh, spots the FK-288. Surprised we haven't seen like even like a Panzer IV up north or something. 
They do manage to recapture this flag, but so far red's been on the offensive. The allies have been making the gains here. Off clear in a position down south, trying to probably get some spots on the reinforcement road. Hubel MG chilling out here. <laughs> Panzer Jaeger RSO, a unit I always find a little bit meme but can be quite good with its cost. If you can take out the AB Canadian leader with the airborne Canadian leader with the Flammenwerfer, that would be huge. Martyr 3 taking some 2-inch carrier damage. Tiger E goes down to... I assume that was the T-3485s there. That's a rough loss. They were in range, so yeah, I think it was. Big loss there early. 81 and Mortar coming in. We have a Shug 3 and a Martyr 3 coming in now, so it's not completely devoid of AT down here. Uh, up here, I should say. Excuse me. Infantry trying to get in. The usual issues of Tali, this, this whole... You know, area here being having to get fought over. All of the flags are different. The flag, there's not a crap flag right here. It's way back here. So that's way more appropriate. Right, Jaeger's doing some nice work here. As long as they're in MP40 range, they're quite strong. Any further away, and they're essentially useless. Yep, we do see them blasting away here. T34s will do a lot of damage. That two inch mortar, though, will help suppress and everything. Still back to a 12-12. Sherm Pioneer Flammenwerfer for getting pushed off. The AB leader did get killed. T-34 kills off the Tetrarch. So we have a little bit of pressure down south there. Double 25 mil. In position there. The Piazza, the, the machine guns were forced out. There's a Husserach in that position. Well, this needs to kill this stupid little 2-inch mortar. It's really, like, causing problems. The old Wren's out of the Oxen Bucks doing some nice work. 410 finally forced off. OB-25 in an interesting spot to kind of cut maybe some of these reinforced off as goes that way. Or is that MG's forced off by the SU-152? The T-3045 was moved down south, killed off the Martyr and the Stug-3. Ooh. Ooh, that's when T-34s are at their finest. Sniper does go down. Flak. Oh, SU-152 kills off one of the 20 mils right off the bat. And Hartnick's precious little AA already getting killed. Surprise homie is not like donating to the cause here we do see a tiger up north that's a good call in that's that's the response he needs to this absolutely just decimating su-152 uh, he's falling back as if he knows it's there already there, i mean now there's there should be no way he knows that's coming but he's backing up like he knows it is and they honestly may need a something here this flag is going to get captured he is doing something about it. But there's just a mass of armor in the middle here. This two-inch mortar doing, like, a lot of annoying damage. It will kill off this martyr eventually. Because it's open top. And the T-34 is pretty damaged. So, howitzer are coming down as well. But the armor down south doing some nice work here. Clearing out these AB paras. He just needs something to push across. But there's... Oh, there's no flag here. I'm so used to 1v1, I just assumed there was a flag here. And there's not. So, this push is useless. Like what's, what, what's the point? Other than cutting off this reinforcement road, there's not any benefit to that at all. Paris Piot do have the double Bren, so they do have some okay, oh, very mediocre long-range firepower, but it, it's double machine gun. Anytime you have a double machine gun, that's a lot better than not double machine gun. Artillery did kill off, I forget what was here even, AT gun or something? Maybe it was just a machine gun? I think it was just a machine gun. Panzer IV support tank doing nice work here, clearing out some of those heavy machine guns. Uh, homie is making progress down here. Making some nice progress. He's cut off this road basically completely, but here comes the Typhoons, and these are very bunched up. He's going to lose something. Looks like the T-34 is going to be the target. Yep, down it goes. Yeah, there's not enough a AA here. Now there's a TU-2S, too. That's going to kill off these support weapons, I think. Yeah, oh... Oh, that hurt. Almost takes out the Polston. That would have been nice. Yeah, the air pro the air issue is becoming very noticeable. Up north, Gonzo making a push. Urzat MG goes down in the transport. SU-152 gets out scot-free here. This 3 has no real chance of killing this. Some work with the T-3045 APCR might be able to do it. See a big push coming in here. No Tiger left or anything to hold this line. Axe is under a lot of pressure here. Lost the CQC infantry here and his position to cut off this reinforcement route. And his troops here. 
And now the town's getting overwhelmed. Maybe Parapiot getting in for the VK. Boop. And does land its shot. Radio Mortar going after these infantry here. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Do the commander tank in. That's always lovely to see. Pustodok, though, gonna get overwhelmed. He needs more reinforcement, and all that's coming are Martyr 1s. There's the boy to Stalin. Although it's in an odd position, I'm surprised he didn't go, like, over here to try to contest this open ground. Without it, it's allowed all these reinforcements to get into here. 1311 now. The center flag, uh, town overwhelmed. Right Jaegers would be the call in here. We see Urzats. He must be out, I guess. There's a Flak 41. We're now coming into B phase. We're not there yet. We have finally two pieces of AA coming in. It seems like the Fox Clan has finally realized how much damage this Air Force is doing and how big it's getting. We see at least a Typhoon. We've seen the TU-2S. I feel like there's at least one other thing already zipping around. Stug 3 would love to kill off that leader before it can get into cover. That'd be huge. Nope, it's missing though. It's failing. It's dropping the ball. T-34-85, 1943 going in for the Stug. Oh, does kill that off actually. So the leader gets killed. That's a big kill, but the Stolz Troop are very weak and they have no Molotovs left, so they really have no chance to get a Sapperty. Here comes the TU-2S though. This thing is a nightmare. 20 mils are 20 mils, you know, doing 20 mil things. As in, sad. They're sad. And me 410 is going to be in a little bit of trouble there. Voyager Stalin finally shifting back up north, where I originally said probably would be the best spot for it. Up north, Gonzo making nice progress here into the woods. Jaeger Pioneer, though, will hold that quite well. Back to a 1311. He's got... If you can grab this spot, it's very hard to get to this flag. T-34 goes down to... Oh, who knows? So many possibilities. The six-pounder. I think it was the six-pounder. I'm assuming it was the six-pounder. Voyager Stalin's got to be careful. I can very easily get side-shotted here by the six-pounder. This six-pounder very much out of position. Cromwell 5 coming in. Not going all the way, though. Should not get ambushed out by this RSO wall here. Back up north. Kavardi DP. R4 stopped by the Panzergrens. Panzergrens in light cover, though. They're going to lose that fight. Yeah, they need some CQC troops. They do have some right Jaeger coming in. Oh, VK taking a shot from the SU-152 and crew's knocked out. That means it's not going anywhere. Gavardi DP will be able to finish that up. Flag is now pretty secure. Panzergrens not going to do well at close range. Six pounder gets a kill. Kills off the Panzer IV. Yeah, the Panzer, because that T-34 is dead before. This is the Panzer IV support. Back on return fire until we can get another good shot. Panzergrens hitting that Vickers MG nicely. Forcing it to move. FK going to help that out a lot. And that Vickers should die. It's out of cover. Especially with the help of that. And boom. Down it goes. Problem is there's not much stuff these airborne Canadians. Stug 3 actually gets a penetration on that SU-152. It goes down to the piles of HE damage. I think it died before the 6-pounder actually hit it. 6-pounder, though, is definitely going to finish that off either way. Yeah, this six pounder in this position is going to be an absolute nightmare. It's just going to pop in and out and kill these these armor pieces off one by one. Right Jaeger, not even the right Jaeger can hold off these waves of troops. Although they're very weak and they need to get this flag back. Up north, Tiger is already down to the T-3485s. Ooh, that's a lot of armor. I mean, one Tiger at max range might be able to hold this off for a while. Oh, Spatroop going down. Oof. Double TU-2S coming in, going for the Pac-43 and the Flak, respectively. The artillery has pinned it down. These 20 mils will do nothing to stop those. Oh, uh, no, not enough. The sadness is immense. And down the fly, unless he retreats it now. 43 down. Okay, TU-2S actually did miss the Flak. They're targeting, trying to get the kill. Not going to do it. All right, so 
foxes did grab this flag, but that's kind of temporary, I think. His armor's been forced off by the six pounder, so he can't get back in there. He's gonna lose his flags. Now it's gonna be a 15 9 again for the allies. Martyr one taking a pen, 17 pounder in now. That's gonna be dangerous. Panzer four spotting some AB pairs. That's a nice hit there. A uh, bunch of Urzats trooping coming in. Boy to Stalin taking a pot shot here at the SU-152. Will it land the hit? It will. Takes one down. Needed that badly. He needs these SU-152s dead. But Gonzo, oh my goodness gracious. Here he comes. Yeah, he lost his flag up here. Another Tiger coming in. I mean, that's the right response. But he needs other stuff. Like, it's not enough. Especially not against this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, Gonzo making a massive push. One Tiger will not stop that. Right Jaeger in. Don't have their Molotovs. Oh, the grenade's off. Right Jaeger will die, but uh, at least he took it with him. T-34 already took a pen. Uh, none of these infantry actually have AT, though, so it's not like they can just drive up and kill this Tiger. T-34 actually bounces. Kind of surprising, honestly. Double Panzergrand does stop at least one in the transport. Tiger does finish off one of the T-3045s. His machine gun's trying to hold off the Sapperty. Tiger E now going after what? The SU-152 misses. I mean, these SU-152s will kill this thing eventually, and now we got a shooter knockout and a track's broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Panzergrand down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Driver knockout. This is the issue with these freaking SU-152s. They're so, like, they're just so, like, they're many points. I guess they're not cheap these days, but you can get so many of them. They can just overwhelm, like, tanks that should be able to easily deal with them. Gets an armor crack. That was nice. Tankos, though, will throw their Molotovs at the Tiger, and those are technically, like, AT-ish grenades. They're not really, but they definitely do damage. So that Tiger's going to go down momentarily here. Do you have an off-map? That could get him back into this. Boy to Stalin versus... The 17 pounders falling back. Martyr 1 moving up to fight. I'm not sure what it's going after. Got the APCR off. FK on the open has been doing a lot of work, actually, weirdly enough. This off map should do a lot of damage. Tiger's still alive, shockingly enough. It's taking out most of the armor over here. Pandagon desperately moving in to try to stop this. Tanko's in this flag already, though. Back to a 15 9. For the red team, SU-152 dodges the first shot. Will the Tiger get another shot off to finish off this SU-152? Boom. Oh, and it misses. Oof. Tiger E reconnects. Tankos are spotted out, which is exactly what uh, the ally Axis need here because they cannot beat these Tankos at close range. Bomber doesn't really do the damage it needs to do. Tiger's still... Alive, although it's taken it's taken a beating, that's for sure. It's T3045, could be a lot of trouble. It's a 1944 variant, which means it does have the longer range. Here we go. Who will win this fight? Bing! The Tiger is extremely stressed, though. And the thing is, once it starts to fall back, it can't go anywhere because of the tracks broken. Ohm. Oh, it's now going after the SU-152. Down it goes. T-3045 gets the pen really bad. Stug-3 coming in. That's going to be a lot less impressive. Off-map does what it needs to. Clears out this town. Gives that back to them. Almost has this flag, but the which carrier is chewing up these infantry. That is so frustrating. Both Panzer Jaeger RSOs have gone down to the 17-pounder now. The 6-pounder looks like... No, it just moved up really far. Too many AT guns. Too much AT... Oh, now the SU-152 is clearing out the rest of these units. Oh, he needed that Tiger to pen so bad. Bear's bringing in some Martyr 1s, trying to throw the Tide back here. And remember, not no players on, like, maximum income yet. Ooh, 17-pounder gets a nice line down the road. Kills off the T-34. Oof. Just oof. Boy to Stalin bouncing some 17 pounder. 70 pounder is going to struggle to pen the Boy to Stalin at, at max range. It, it's going to struggle a lot. Centaur with the 2K HE spot down some Jaeger Pioneers. I'm not sure why they're so far forward. Double howitzer now. Yep. Going after these packs and flax and things. 
I'm surprised Home Immune's calling in, like, Flak 41s. I mean, I get it. They cover off some of this open area, but in terms of actual AA power, the Flak 43 is a bazillion times better. At least in my humble opinion. And it is humble because these guys are better than me, so. Took the rate this range. This is where you want to fight a T-3045. Oh, it bounces. I'm shocked, but it gets a gun jam on the Ardor 1. Oh, and another T-3045 there. He will finish off that T-3045, so that's definitely a plus. But now the T-3045, the second one on the Martyr 1, it misses its first shot. Martyr 1 will do the same, though. Oh, no, this SDKZ on the road. Oh, disaster, 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 disaster. Gets a loader wounded penetration. Did he actually get hit or did it miss both? It missed both. Martyr 1, oh, bounce. SD-152 now in. Oh, bounces again. Oh, the rage. Oh, he made it. Ah! Looks like it may be a trade. If he gets the penetration, he does not. And the Martyr 1 goes down. Oh, that's where Martyr 1s feel bad in those moments. Pioneer getting into the AB Paris. They should do fine, although they're just out of range of their grenade. Although you don't really want to throw a grenade at it like a two-man squad. Off map? I'm not even sure how it got up there. Interesting that it got all the way to here. Some infantry waiting for another strike here by Gonzo. Planning for another Giga push, clearly. Back up north. T-3485 does finally go down to the double Martyr 1 here. The armor is broke, being broken down up north here by Farad. Uh, Gonzo's big push here has really lost a lot of steam. Now the issue is going to be all these CQC troops hidden around. SU-152 goes down now as well, so yeah. He did kill off all of that armor. That's really impressive. Another T-3045 coming in, but this Martyr 1 on the side shot could be a problem. Although he, he does know it's there, so it's not a surprise. Tankos do take out a Panzergren. Right Jaeger, though, there. Should be able to finish the Tankos off. 1311. Axe is kind of pulling it back. We are now into C phase, though. There's the off map. Killing off a sniper. Unloading these Tankos. That is super awkward. <laughs> that is really... Oh, God. Yeah, this is a... I, I don't approve. I'll be honest with you. This, this SU at 152 spam is so obnoxious. And clearly not what is intended for the game. I don't know. I know. It's part of it. It's part of it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just... It, I don't know. I, I don't like it personally. I find it very cheesy. Like, this feels like... Like, this is just disgusting levels of cheese. Because this will kill tigers and stuff, which I think is ridiculous. It's not the intention of those units whatsoever. Ooh... Get a nice little ground attack right in front of the Flak 88. It's going to go down unless the Boyter Stalin can stop it, and it does. Boyter Stalin landing some key hits here. Plenty of tri uh, Polstons here. Probably will kill this 410 off. It really flew deep. It's infantry getting chewed up here. Still 1311, though. They need to recapture this northern position. BK has a little threat from the... Uh, DPs. Right Jaeger should tear through these tankos without the uh, with them out of Molotovs. Eh, maybe not. Nope, they did it. There we go. And I would think it'll beat the sniper. Although weirder things have happened. It's very suppressed. Martyr 1. Get, it's the T3045. Max range, not great. SDKZ71 being used really aggressively. I like to see it. It is double though, but they're bouncing away. TU-2S does not get forced off in time. Down goes one Martyr 1. Yeah, this is a bad range for the Martyr 1s. They need to be a little closer. He does stop the last one. He's able to stop that. It's really bad, though. SDK has had switching targets over and over again to whatever the least suppressed thing is. Panzer IV taking SU-85 shots out the wazoo. SU-152, excuse me, for wrong SU. How about just F you? Just kidding. Uh, Boytishan went down? No, it's still there. I lied. Tango's getting wiped out trying to just charge across the open. Two-inch carrier finally dies. That thing has been a thorn in the side for quite a while. Artillery picking up on these 17 pounders stuff. He definitely needs that bad. Yeah, it's so many SU-152s. Martyr 1 goes down to... Maybe a Piat? No, the Centaur. So much HE-2K. God, this is disgusting. There's one pen. He needs to kill these things off. Like, oh my god, really? Does this have heat? No. How did it do that? Were they really that damaged? 
And yeah, that's a dead Boitishalin from just HE damage. Now, it obviously took a lot of damage before that, so that wasn't like a straight just SU-152 blob of destruction, but we can see what this can do. It's pretty nuts. And the awkward thing for at least 20th is they don't actually have a lot of 2k armor. They have a lot of 2k stuff, but not a lot of 2k armor. The Tigers out of Group Hartnick would be your best chance here against this, this monstrous blob of stuff. Obviously, any soft thing that pokes its head out here is going to insta-die. How much armor do these centaurs have? Only 85, so... This T-34-76 might pick up some stuff. Little John, though, that's definitely going to be a lot more dangerous with its high penetration there and super high rate of fire. These infantry, though, a lot, a big blob of CQC infantry getting into the forest. That's going to be devastating. There's nothing there to stop them. And he continues to not be able to grab this flag here. 17-pounder catching out Hearth. Hearth doesn't even get a shot off. Does it barely even starts to aim. 88 wiped out by the SU-152s. Yeah, oh my god. What is he? How do you stop this? What's he warning about? Where's the... Oh, yeah. This, yeah, this is bad. I mean, there's so many bad things going on right now. Tiger E coming in. Right Jaegers are wonderful in this spot, but not against that T-3045. This SDK of Z-71 actually a dangerous spot if that just pushes through. Tiger E does not want to fight the T-3045 at close range because it can get penned, and this is a terrible trade. Oh, 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 no. Oh, geez. All right, here comes the tiger. Three-star tiger, good stuff. But like I said, there's just a lot. He turned off the HE. That's good. Little John did go down. T-34 still alive. HE-111 with its big bombs coming in. Trying to clear out this forest here. All right, that was a nice bombing strike. Killed off one, pinned down everything else. Good bombing strike. T-34-85 out, picking up a hit on the centaur. It does get the second shot off, kills it off. That's a nice kill, needs those, because again, there's just so freaking many of these. Stu42 gets an engine stall. Again, you just get critted so much from this pile of these things. Uh, looks like that was all of them, though. I, I, I have to imagine that was every single SU-152 we could see. Grilla down here, helping to stop some of the infantry pushing across the open. Battery Fear getting hit. Stu42 getting hit again. SU-15, uh, Tiger E, I mean. Spotting Gavardia, it's holding it up. Up north, that flag has still not been captured. Now, who sort of go to sort of shock goes down to the OB-25 over here. Tiger does kill that off, so that's a nice kill. The infantry getting carnaged. It's absolutely, that's not a word. It's getting, it, carnage is a word, but carnaged is not. 15-9, <laughs> though, again here for the allies. Blue on the back foot badly now losing the southern flag as well as a push down south gets through infantry pouring in panzer fords as well tiger e has actually cleared out most of these su-152s down goes what i believe is the last one still the number of crits and stuff on just horrible the 220 here off map trying to hold off the sapperty himself no cqc infantry to stop him Tiger E did kill off this T-34. This other one, though, still in the fight. Takes it out. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Tiger gets the penetration. It's 242 kill off some of these infantry and such. T-34 breaks off that engagement. T-34s are getting an impressive number of penetrations at this range. Although Tiger with less armor than you imagine it has. I... I, is, is, is that historically accurate? 125 millimeters of penetration of armor? I just don't know. Smart history people. Tell me. Transport goes down with these Cromwells are going to be a serious issue. The Tiger's holding off the open, but there's a lot of things the Tiger needs to do. And I don't think there's enough Tiger to go around. Uh, how much A do we really have here? We do have an SDK at 71 We do have a Flak 43. So these two, two S's may get stopped before they do anything significant. One is stopped. One of these is going to get through. No? Oh, maybe not. The third one went really deep. Oh, and it's probably going to die, I would think. No, we're retargeting. So one TU-2S actually gets killed, finally. 
Well, maybe two. I don't know. There's a lot of AA fire. Still, this flag is held up north, though. Keeping that 15 on that double tick, just eating up those flags. Never good. Double tick always ouchie. Yeah, homie who needs to recapture this down south very badly. He's spotting that's that. Oh, no, I thought he was spotting the four. He is now. He killed the two inch mortar first. And now, double shot here. Will it kill it? Doo -doo, and does get the double tap. Very nice. Grenadier's Bolt holding this flag, though. I mean, 410, I, flying just so aggressively over these lines. Finally, it goes down. 242, double tiger. Three star. Very nice. These are very pretty. Very pretty with their three stars. Oh, off map coming in, though. Finally returning the favor to 152. Ugh. Those are very good. The right jig are losing out in the forest here. I don't know if they're losing out or just getting overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is probably the right answer. Martyr 1 getting in a nice position, but gets pen first. Gets the penetration. Will it get the second shot off? Uh, the other one misses. It does fire, and it does kill off that T3045. That's a good trade there. Hets are in as well, but the infantry have been killed off, and I have a feeling the Axis are running out of CQC infantry. Group Hardnick, of course, with their lovely right Jaegers, but they do not have infinity of them. Uh, it's generally, what, what's, the, what's the curve? 6 and 12, I believe, for AB. So he's probably running out. Little John getting wrecked. Black, 20 mil getting killed off. Off map coming in. There's a lot of tanks here now. Oops, 17 pounder, though, gets a pen on that. Tiger E. Can the Stu 42 save the situation? He's trying to. Oh, down goes one of the Tigers. He really can't suffer to lose these. I, I have a feeling he's running out. It's definitely not Infinity Tigers in Group Hartnick. You get a good chunk, a good number of them, but not just forever of them. More T-3485 is coming in. At close range, these guys win. At long range, these guys most definitely win. Especially if they're getting distracted by infantry. Right here, he's getting chewed up in the open. Gunilla, though, checking out some nice stuff here. Oh, Panzer IV goes down. Double off map. We have two 150, a 203 and a 152. Oh, my goodness gracious. The spam barf. The barf spam going on here. This is why, guys. This is why I'm just not a big fan of multiplayer. Like, when I say multi, I mean multi-multi. Not just 1v1. I'm <laughs> talking like a real multiplayer like this. It's just too much. Stug 3 gets two misses. Lucky for it. The Hetzer's moving up to get into range. So this is a terrible range for it. Maximum. Gets a gun jam on one of the T-3045s. Wow. Kills off the gun jammed one. That's unfortunate because that's not what it needs to be killing. We don't see two penetrations in a row from this gun very often. It's not that. It's 145, which is the same as the Martyr 1. We saw how much the Martyr 1 struggled at maximum range. Hetzer, though, of course, with a lot more armor. 105 millimeters, so it will bounce from time to time. These T-3485 is just missing, though. Finally captures that flag back north. Can this Hetzer do what it needs to do? Takes out one. Gets a pen on its own, though, on itself. This is bad. I don't think it's going to get lucky enough to kill all of these. Nope, gets that bounce. And, oh, bounces himself. Second heads are in, but it's getting held up on the infantry. Don't miss too much action down here. Here comes the off map down here. All the armor's been pulled back. A horde of Panzer IVs. The problem is, oh, Pack 43 picking up a Cromwell kill there. Really nice. Not much to stop this Cromwell 5, though. Oh, nope, there's a Martyr 1. Just kidding. SDK of Z71 caught out in the open, though. APCR on, that's a problem. Pack 43 misses. Hetzer did go down, did not take the other T-34s with it. Now the T-34 already got a pen on this Hetzer. Yeah. Here's another Tiger. There's more in the hole. Looks like an unvetted card of C phase. Panzer Fords, if they chill there too long, will get caught in this off map. But uh, the Canadians securely into this town once again. Down south, a huge push. Oh man, it's not traded efficiently enough down here. 17 pounders galore. Cromwell 5 goes down to the FK 288. Infantry surrendered. Martyr 1 gets a pen from the T 3045. Again, these long range fights with these Martyr 1s is not ideal. They just do not do very well. And now these infantry are just. I, I don't know why, 
but uh, Farron has decided it's suicide time. That's why, because they're going to lose here in two minutes, so it's suicide time. VK pushing into this town does find it relatively unguarded. Up north, those infantry are getting absolutely chewed to death. Tiger in a nice position once again. Did recapture this flag. But the one Pandagran holding this is getting just decimated. How is responding to the 81 mil mortar? Panzer IV coming in, but there's nothing else coming in down south. Did take the time to call in a Verf Ramen. That did fire. I didn't see where it landed. Probably into this forest here. It's 242 going down to the 17 pounder. Oof. All the Tigers are dead. These Panzer IVs and this Gorilla, all that's left of that armor cadre. And now we're back to a double tick. Farad trying to find a hole in the line here. Down to his junky Grenadier DP. T3045 coming to save the day. This flag still will not fall. And I believe the sun is setting here for the Axis powers. Just as in history, they cannot hold back the tides of just pouring things in. This is historically accurate now. The Axe is working with very little, and the Allies just pouring it on. Verfron, he just desperately wants to clear out this forest. That's going to miss anyway. And that'll be the game. 35 minutes, 17 seconds here on Tali Inhantala. Trades, Gonzo with 3,715. Sir Daniels with 3,800 versus 32.75 for Farad and 23.95 for Homeon. Homeon, unfortunately, really underperforming this game. Uh, did really well last game. This game wasn't able to hold it up the same. Uh, in terms of trade difference, we have 500. Yeah, it's about a 2,000 kill difference, which was very apparent by the end. Uh, the KD is not going to tell us much because we're missing a lot of units like we determined. Uh, really impressive that they were able to break down that SU 152 blob. Those things, again, I'm not exaggerating. Those things are really, really hard to kill. Uh, the boy to Stalin did help. Killed a lot of them. So, awesome match. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.